Hi there, Lisa with Corteva AgriScience here today in the Okanagan. We're taking nematode samples today. And um, this block is a bench graft gala block that went in about probably five weeks ago, maybe six now. And I just wanted to go through how we're nematode sampling and what you need to be able to sample in your own blocks. So what do we need? First off, we need a soil probe. We need a bucket to mix our soil samples. We need a Ziploc bag with a black marker that you write down the sample number, the block name, the date, the row, whatever's going to remind you of where you got that sample from. If we're doing trial work, and um, even if we're not, we use flagging tape at the ends of the rows in order to know where we've taken those samples from. It's another tool for reminding us where we were. However, um, flagging tape can go missing, it can fade. Um, so on, on that as well, we always do maps in our books on where we sampled and what block we sampled in. The other thing about nematodes that's critical is once we sample, they like to be kept cool. So we take our Ziploc bag, we put it in a cooler and we put it in with a ice pack. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to take some sample cores and talk about that. So one of the things about taking sample cores is you want to be for nematodes around that root zone. And obviously these are just planted, so the root zone is very small, so kind of a 30 centimeter round uh, um, sampling I would do here. 30 centimeters is what we're striving for, but depending on soil type, sometimes you might be able to be at 50, which is a great, sometimes only 20. The key is to be consistent. So. In this row, or these rows, I've broken each row into six sections, and within each section I will take a minimum of ten core samples. I will mix them into the bucket, and I will add my ten samples, and then I will take those ten samples, put them in the Ziploc, and then into the cooler. So again, it's critical. Consistency is critical and the depth is critical. Again, we're trying for 30 centimeters, sometimes we're lucky and we get 50, but then we want to be consistent with that 50 or that 30 or that 20 centimeters within that sampling size. So the take homes from the video are, be consistent with your sampling, mark where you're sampled from so you can go back later or next year and see what the populations have done and have they changed. And after you take that sample, keep them in a cooler with an ice pack. Overnight, you would want to keep them in the fridge if you can't get to the lab. And that's all there is for nematode sampling. Thanks and bye for now.